We are calling it GPT-40. Oh, you're doing a live demo right now? That's awesome. OpenAI has not just set the bar sky high again by launching its new GPT-40 model, but they have pushed and shattered the boundaries of what AI can do. And what amazes me about this new AI model is how incredible the GPT-40 inspired voice assistant feature is. With this integration, GPT-40 can read your facial expressions and translate spoken language in real time via live voice conversation, video streams from your phone and text, and hopefully do it all without abandoning you like in the movie. Now, OpenAI released a blog post where they actually shared some details about the capabilities of GPT-40, and let me tell you, it's mind blowing. So I'm gonna show you just how impressive GPT-40 really is and what it can do. Prior to GPT-40, you could have a real-time conversation with ChatGPT through voice mode. You could speak to ChatGPT and it would respond back with its synthesized voice. But the latency wasn't lightning fast. You typically experience a delay of around 2.8 seconds with GPT-3.5 or 5.4 seconds with GPT-4. However, to understand this, here is how voice mode works its magic. First, a simple model would transcribe your audio into text. Then, the main event, GPT-3.5 or GPT-4, would take that text and formulate a response. Finally, another simple model would convert that response back into audio for you to hear. But in this process, the GPT-4 model, which is the main source of intelligence, was missing out on a lot of information. It couldn't directly pick up on things like tone, multiple speakers, or background noises. And when it came to outputting the response, it couldn't convey laughter, singing, or any real emotion. However, the introduction of GPT-40 is a step forward in how naturally humans interact with computers. This clever AI can understand all kinds of things, words, sounds, pictures, even videos. But here's the captivating part. It can also respond back with words, sounds, or images. So instead of just typing at each other, you and GPT-40 could have an actual conversation. It can listen to you talk and respond out loud, almost like chatting with a friend. It's crazy fast too. GPT-40 can reply to your voice in just the blink of an eye, around 320 milliseconds on average. That's about as quick as an actual person responding in a conversation. Plus, it's just as smart as the famous GPT-4 when it comes to understanding written words and code. But get this, GPT-40 is even better at making sense of different languages, pictures, and sounds compared to other AI models out there. The best part? This multi-talented AI doesn't cost an arm and a leg. It's around 50% cheaper than some other AI assistants. Now, before we take a look at the exploration of the capabilities of GPT-40 in the OpenAI blog post, let's see what OpenAI said. OpenAI mentioned that this AI model is the first of its kind to combine text, visuals, and audio in one unified neural network. I'm talking about an AI that can process any input you throw at it, whether it's words, images, or sound bites. But here's where it gets really fascinating. OpenAI straight up admitted that they're just scratching the surface of exploring what the model can do and its limitations. They've already created this insane multimodal AI and are telling us there's even more to explore. I mean, talk about leaving us on the edge of our seats. Now, for you to have a clear understanding of what GPT-40 is capable of, let me show you an example on the OpenAI blog post that'll interest you. From the exploration of the capabilities, check out this user's input. Visual narratives for a robot writer's block. Sounds like a weird prompt, right? But GPT-40 delivered something truly remarkable. Look at this output. It's a first-person view of a robot typing away on a typewriter complete with journal entries on display. I mean, can you even imagine being able to visualize a text prompt like that? It's like GPT-40 reached into our minds and pulled out the exact image we were picturing. But do you see how clear and legible the text is? That's because this AI understands that we need to be able to read journal entries. And check out the robot's hands on the typewriter. That's amazing. Besides that, the robot also recorded the second entry, showing that the page is now taller. There were two entries on the sheet, and that is pretty ridiculous. It has the same exact text right there on the image output. So this shows us that the degree of accuracy that we have here in this model is truly incredible. However, I thought that we might not get to such things like this at this point, but it's already happening. But this kind of consistent image generation is remarkable from OpenAI. 
And I think that this is going to show you that OpenAI is truly ahead. However, during the demo live stream, OpenAI CTO Mira Murati showed off gpt 4 skills. And let me tell you, it was beyond my expectations. Take a look at what this thing can do. With gpt 4 you can actually talk to it out loud, just like you talk to a friend. And get this, it can understand you and respond back almost instantaneously. No more awkward delay where you're just sitting there waiting for the AI to catch up. You can be discussing a topic, asking questions, or getting assistance, and gpt 4 is keeping up with you every step of the way. The interaction is so smooth and natural, it's like it's right there in the room with you. But here's the really crazy part. gpt 4 doesn't just understand words. You can show it pictures and videos and play sounds, and it can make sense of all of it in real time. Describe something visually, and it gets it immediately, just like a human would. I mean, can you imagine the possibilities? Having an AI assistant that can indeed keep up with you, understanding everything you say and show it without any lags or hiccups? It opens up so many doors for how we communicate and collaborate with technology. This model can reason through visual problems in real time as well. You know how usually when you ask an AI to help you with something visual, you have to upload an image or whatever? Well, with gpt 4 that's not even necessary. One of the researchers named Barrett Zoff literally just filmed himself writing out an algebra equation on a piece of paper using his phone. No uploading is required. He had gpt 4 watch along in real time as he wrote it down. Then he instructed the AI not to solve the equation right away, but to guide him through it step by step, just like a teacher would. And you know what gpt 4 did? It started walking him through it in this super friendly conversational way. What's the first step I should take to try to solve this? The first step is to get all the terms with x on one side and the constants on the other side. So what do you think we should do with that plus one? Okay, I'm going to try to subtract one from both sides and then I'll see what I get. Great idea. Perfect. Now, what do you get when you subtract one from both sides? Okay, so ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? Spot on. Now you've isolated the term with x on one side, and it looks like 3x equal 3. What do you think we should do next to solve for x? I'm not sure. Can you give me another hint? Of course. You have 3x, and you want to find the value of x. Think about what operation would undo multiplication. Is it subtraction? Close, but think of the opposite of multiplication, because 3x means 3 times x. Okay, I think it's division. Let me try to divide both sides by 3, and let me see what I get. Bingo! Go ahead and divide both sides by 3. Okay, so ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? It looks perfect. You've solved it, and x equals 1. Nicely done. How do you feel about solving linear equations now? Yeah, honestly, I've, I'm not pretty confident I can solve uh, linear equations. But why would you ever need to use this in the real world? I'm really skeptical. That's a fair question. Linear equations pop up in a lot of everyday situations, even if we don't realize it. For example, calculating expenses, planning travel, cooking, and even in business for profit and loss calculations. It's basically a way to solve problems where you need to find an unknown value. Plus, wow, okay. it's... Wow, you know, I have a lot of unknown values in my life. I'm <laughs> totally convinced we sh I'm going to learn math now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that attitude. Math can definitely help solve some of life's mysteries. Whenever you're ready to dive into more math, I'm here for you. Anything else you'd like to tackle today? So ChatGPT, I really love that you, you know, taught the value of math to my friend Mark. And I wrote uh, one last thing I'd love if you could take a look at. Of course. I'd love to see what you wrote. Show it to me whenever you're ready. Okay, so this is what I wrote down. What do you see? Aw, uh, I see. I love ChatGPT. That's so sweet of you. <laughs> yeah, well, I really appreciate all the help. But that's not even the half of it. Apparently, just like the previous GPT models, GPT-40 keeps track of all your past conversations with it. So it actually has context and remembers what you've already discussed. Kind of like an AI that can pick up where you left off. Meanwhile, it can do live translations now. 
You can speak to it in one language, and it'll translate and respond in another seamlessly. They've also added the ability to search through your whole conversation history with the model. Fair enough, this model can look up information in real time as you're chatting with it. Like, if you ask it something it doesn't know, it can quickly find and reference the right facts and details to fill you in. Prior to GPT-40, OpenAI had all its advanced AI capabilities under a paywall. Things like being able to understand and reason through images, videos, and all that visual stuff were paid for before you can access them. With this new GPT-40 model they just dropped, anyone can access these powerful visual reasoning features that were previously only available to paying customers. Now, they haven't given all the details yet on exactly how many times we will use it for those using free accounts before having to pay up. That said, the paid subscribers aren't getting completely cut off. OpenAI did say that those premium members will still get way more capacity and interactions compared to the free users. So, what do you think? Are you as intrigued by GPT-40 as I am? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to check out our other videos and subscribe to the channel.